YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jenna Shivers, also known as The Lovely Vet. I am a small animal veterinarian in central Ontario, Canada. I have created this channel to educate pet parents on all things great and small. My main focus in veterinary medicine right now is small animal medicine, uh, which includes uh, mainly dogs and cats, but also pocket pets. Um, so pocket pets, for those of you who don't know, are your cute little fluffies, um, things like bunnies, uh, guinea pigs, ferrets, rats, mice, those types of little creatures that could fit in your pocket. My main interests in veterinary medicine are um, both preventative care to kind of help your animals live it, uh, long, healthy, healthy, happy lives, um, as well as um, emergency medicine. Um, so kind of seems like the opposite, but helping your pets out when they're in um, the most need um, and have something you know, quite traumatic happening or, um, you know, a disease process coming on quite um, quickly. I have worked with um, lots of different types of animals. Um, I have previously been a large animal veterinarian. Um, usually with large animal vet work, um, you work with a lot of farm animals. Um, so um, animals like horses, cows, sheep, pigs, um, goats, um, even your uh, chickens, uh, the other um, kind of general category of animals I've worked with are um, exotic animals, um, which are uh, quite cool and interesting. Um, the main kind of categories of exotic animals are your birds. Um, so, you know, birds as big as macaws um, to little zebra finches um, and everything in between. And then um, the other kind of big category of exotic animals are um, reptiles. So your snakes, bearded dragons, um, cool little animals like chameleons. Um, so I have had uh, quite a bit of experience um, with lots of different species. I've been a vet for um, almost nine years now. Um, I did an undergraduate degree in medical science and biology. Um, and that was at University of Western Ontario, um, Purple Pride, <laughs> go uh, Mustangs. Um, I also did uh, my veterinary degree after that, uh, which I had the privilege of going to Australia um, to do my veterinary degree at University of Melbourne in Australia, uh, Victoria. Um, so I got a lot of different um, experience there with their really cool wildlife and um, you know, creatures there that we would never see here. Um, your kangaroos, koalas, um, wombats, which are one of my favorites. Um, they also have really cool um, wildlife with birds and reptiles there as well, which kind of got me interested to the into the exotics. So um, your birds like your rainbow lorikeets, um, sulfur crested cockatoos, rosellas, are all kind of native species there. You see them just, you know, randomly. Um, and then uh, quite a few really cool um, wildlife reptiles as well. Um, some you don't really want to handle, like your venomous snakes, um, but some bearded dragons, um, some skinks, um, blue tongue lizards are pretty cool. Um, so I was uh, very fortunate to get the experience there with that uh, type of wildlife. My veterinary experience has allowed me to uh, meet lots of different uh, veterinary professionals. Um, the whole team um, is, is such an important role in veterinary medicine. Amazing uh, reception teams who are the communicators, um, the veterinary assistants or the ACAs, animal care assistants are um, wonderful. They're the um, people who uh, take good care of your pets and keep everything clean and, and hygienic and safe for everybody. Um, your veterinary technicians who are a huge, huge part of uh, veterinary medicine. They're kind of the backbone um, of every vet practice. Um, and then your veterinarians. Um, so um, veterinarians vary, you know, a lot. There's a lot of different types of vets um, within the vet industry. So um, from your um, general practitioner or your GP uh, veterinarian is your go-to person for all the questions that you have um, about your pets. Um, 
and you know the all the trust that you have in them that if they don't know the answer if your pet's quite ill um, that they're going to refer you to um, a specialist or, or an emergency clinic or whatnot um, and then you know having worked in the emergency world as well as um, worked with um, quite a few veterinary specialists as well um, you know there's uh, different types of veterinarians for all different fields. So, um, you know, your dog has a heart murmur um, or an arrhythmia um, and you need to get that assessed. Um, you get to go to a, a cardiologist. Um, your dog has an issue with their back and has a hard time getting around. Um, you would go to a veterinary neurologist. Um, you know, your dog has a fractured canine um, and you don't want to get that pulled. Um, you would go to a dog dentist um, to have a root canal done on that tooth. Um, pretty much any um, specialty you can think of in human medicine, there's the equivalent within veterinary medicine as well. Um, and we, um, as general practitioner, um, when we don't know the answer, we oftentimes will reach out to those specialists either to ask questions or to refer our patients um, to get the very best care. So. That being said, I mean, veterinary medicine is a massive field. Um, there's so much to know, so much to learn. Um, none of us will ever um, pretend like we know it all, um, but I'm certainly happy to, um, you know, research topics and um, educate um, people. My main goal um, with creating this channel is to um, give people a, a place to go to, to get information that is you know correct coming directly from a veterinarian um that um you know someone who um, you can ask a specific question to and i can answer that for you chances are if you have that question there's thousands of other people that also have that question um, i'm going to start my channel by answering frequently asked questions that i get in veterinary practice um, and please you know comment um, below to let me know if you have any specific questions yourself and I'll try and make a video post on that, or I can, if it's a simple answer, I can just reply to you back in the comments. If you ask a question that I don't specifically know the answer to, um, I'm certainly happy to research it or um, go to a specialist and see if they can be a guest speaker or you know give me more information on the subject to, to give you more specific information. Um, and I can certainly bring that info back to you. If you feel like this video would help anyone that you know, um, please share it, um, like, subscribe, um, so that you can see the new videos that I post each week. Um, and that's my goal, um, is to do one video a week. Um, so please, if you have an urgent question or your pet is in distress, call your regular vet clinic, call your local emergency clinic, and they can get your questions answered much quicker than I can. Um, but certainly um, if you want that uh, specific question answered and it's not on a, a time crunch, please let me know. Um, I am a busy mom, uh, dog mom, uh, baby mom, as well as uh, stepmom and wife, so, um, and veterinarian. So we've got lots going on in the household. I wanted to introduce you to a special guest Miss Mindy Moo will be a feature on the show. Um, Mindy Moo is uh, my one of my best friends. Um, she's been with me for the last six years or so. Um, her, she's a Springer Spaniel Poodle Cross. Um, I always tell everyone she's an old soul. Um, she's a been very calm and loving from even since she was a young pup. Um, her. We just love Miss Mindy Moo so much. She's our family pet. Um, and she's one of the reasons why I'm doing this channel because I know every family has a, a pet that's kind of central to their family, kind of the glue that holds everyone together. Um, and uh, our pets only live so long, um, but we want them to live long, happy, healthy lives while they're with us. Um, and um, just wanted to, you know, be able to give that um, gift to other families is, uh, you know, early disease detection, um, helping you do um, some basic procedures uh, like cleaning ears, brushing teeth, um, those types of things, um, you know, just maintaining your, your animals for as long as you possibly can um, and um, keeping them uh, happy and healthy. 
So uh, she's going to be a star of the show, Miss Mindy Moo. So thank you for checking out my channel and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.